Now let's shift focus to Deden Kimafi University in Nyeri County where skills competition has been taking place. Our reporter Clement Masombo is there. Let's join him live for an update on this all important event. Clement Masombo, good morning. I hope you're well. This particular event is being held right after World Youth Skills Day was celebrated just last month on the 15th of July. How important is this, especially to the youth who are engaging? Well, uh, good morning to you, Jesse. Indeed, we are well uh, in uh, Nyeri County. And uh, right from uh, Dedan Kimath University of Technology, we are having the World Skills Kenya National Competition actually taking place here. And it is an event that has been uh, ongoing since uh, Monday, the 28th of uh, August. And we are expecting that it will be uh, culminating tomorrow. And uh, this is an uh, event uh, or a competition that uh, has brought together learners from uh, various learning institutions just to, to showcase their skills and competencies when it comes to matters to do with the engineering and of course uh, it, engineering, I was speaking about uh, things to do like industry 4.0 and mechatronics. But then I will not delve so much into details because I have experts here who will be giving us details of uh, how the competition has been and what we expect of course from uh, towards the, as we approach the near end of this particular competition. Thank you sir for joining us on KTN News. Perhaps you will uh, start by giving us a highlight of how the competition has been so far and at what stages are we? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I am Jean Bosco, professor of mechatronics and I'm a national expert uh, for Industry 4.0 and mechatronics. If I talk about uh, the event, the World Skills started on Monday by opening by the CS Education and then on Tuesday we had uh, uh, 13 teams uh, for mechatronics and we had uh, 9 teams for industrial 4.0 if I go directly to Industry 4.0, Industry 4.0, generally when we talk about Industry 4.0, Industry 4.0 is to translate, uh, you are trying to translate the data into the information. Then another thing we are going to look, another enabler is uh, data, the, uh, this data transformation or digitalization, dig, uh, digital data transformation. When we are talking about the digital data transformation, we are trying to move from hard copies, hard papers to digital papers. So what we need is, it means you need to get information on real time and when you need it. And then we go to IoT, which is an ecosystem. You want to have the data on real time. It means if we get an example, it is like you have your email, you have a phone call, everything, your bank account is in your computer. So what we want in Industry 4.0, we need to see whether what the machine is doing, uh, the manager uh, of the industry, the client can be able to have an information of what being t being uh, uh, produced. So today, uh, where we are, we have uh, the competitors in the first day. We had nine competitors uh, in Industry 4.0. Uh, four teams were eliminated. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, six remaining. Again, we had to uh, do an elimination to remain with the four. But yesterday in the morning, when we were to go to finals, we have seen the students who are really performing well from Tivet institution. And the, the student moved from like 32 marks and he went to 82. We said, let us give chance to this guy and to see, because Industry 4.0, it is proving uh, like in the number one and the number two, they are girls from the university, which shows Industry 4.0 is much more on the brain, is much more on uh, thinking, logic, than it use the muscles. That is where we are. We are waiting for now the competitors. We gave them five hours to do the competition for Industry 4.0 and uh, to be able to compete. How this is going to help in the future, we are testing the enablers of Industry 4.0 which is the IoT, Industrial Internet of Things. We need to have data on real time. We are talking about robotics. We want the people to see robot can collaborate with human. So it means you are not taking jobs from industries. Uh, third, we need the data uh, transformation, digital transformation. It means they are doing a digital twin. They have to have the copy of the physical machine on a, on a real time. Then we go to Industry 4.0, we translate now this information into a kind of movement. It means you have everything together as a person, as a manager of industry, as a decision maker, as a procurement person. You can be able to know what is going on in your shop floor.
All right, thank you so much, uh, Professor Jean Bosco, of course, uh, the national expert when we talk about uh, world skills uh, competition. Now, then allow me to engage Professor Peter Mushiri, the Vice Chancellor of uh, Deran Kimath University. Of course, uh, this is something that is happening at a time when the country is uh, trying so much to implement the CBC competency based yeah. curriculum. Yeah. Perhaps you would wish to comment how significant this is to learners and to the institution. Thanks a lot. I'm uh, Professor Peter Muchiri, the Vice Chancellor of Dedan Kimadi University of Technology, and uh, I'm very happy to host this uh, World Skill Kenya National Competition because this is competence at its best. Uh, the nation has been talking about competence based education, and uh, for engineering and for us as the University of Technology, competence is really demonstrating what you can do with the knowledge that you have gathered in engineering. This is a competence on uh, operation and uh, programming and uh, maintenance and operationalization of mechatronic systems and uh, when we see our engineers engineering students being able to develop and run and program and manipulate these kind of systems we see as the real comp competence of the engineers that we want to produce so i always say in dead and kemadi university competence based education came long before it had even entered the country because we are committed in producing engineers and technologists who are able to demonstrate competence and also the skills that are required in the world of work Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Professor Mushiri. Let me engage another gentleman here. Of course, Siemens as uh, partners. Uh, how are you supporting the skills of uh, these learners, both in TVETs and even at the universities? Thank you so much. My name is uh, Peter Njogu. I uh, work with uh, Siemens. Uh, with uh, Dead and Kimathi, I think we have been a long time pa partner with uh, Dead and Kimathi. So to start with, is uh, Dead and Kimathi is a training partner for Siemens um, uh, on uh, the whole range of uh, our products and we support them so we have had support when it comes to supply of uh, the hardware together with uh, with the software and then uh, like on the, the world scale uh, part of it uh, we we have been working with uh, the university uh, so to try and ensure that uh, the team has the required uh, hardware together with the software and then besides that we are here to ensure that uh, in the final and as we close the day we need to award uh, the winners of, uh, of this and we would want you to be available as we are awarding the winners so that the, the whole of East Africa and uh, the whole of Africa sees that Kenya is taking the lead and we need to move as Prof has put it uh, from uh, the hardware perspective to digitalization and digitalization is just trying to move from just the manual perspective and ensuring the uh, our industries are digitalized they are moving to the industry 4.0 Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, very lastly, Prof. Uh, Njogu there says that uh, they are here to award the winners. Perhaps after the whole competition, what next even after awarding the winners from uh, Kenya? Yeah, after this competition, after the winner are uh, announced, we are going to take one year training, uh, intensive training to take these competitors to international level. Reason being, when we go to International Industrial 4.0 competition, we have to ensure all the enablers, virtual reality, augmented reality, digital twin, all those enablers, 3D printing, they can bring all these enablers in the competition. So we have all the equipment behind us. We have the virtual reality, augmented reality, 3D printer. We are going to take a whole year training these people making sure they are at an international level. If possible, we will take them to maybe to South Africa to benchmark, uh, to make sure these competitors at least in one of the area, either industrial 4.0 mechatronics, we have a global medal. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Jean Bosco, Professor Mushiri, and of course, uh, Njogu from uh, Siemens. But yeah. then, uh, Jesse, you've just heard it from uh, the experts here, of course, very technical terms being used here by those uh, experts in matters to do with the engineering and mechatronics. But 